To do a rapid sketch of any small boat, uh, the first thing you really want to do is to kind of lay out the keel as kind of a basic reference, uh, something that you can measure everything else off of. The next thing you want to do is to probably find the middle of the boat. Now, this all depends on how you've designed it or how you're, you're conceiving of it or some boat that you're trying to imitate. So there's a line across the middle. I'm setting this out at about 30 degree angle. Uh, decide where you want the bow to be. I'm going to put the bow up here. So that's the, the front of the boat, the bow. Uh, the stern's going to be back here. So that's about the proportion of the boat. It's this wide versus, I mean, this wide uh, versus that long. All right. The next thing, make a decision. Uh, do you want that bow to slope forward? I'm going to put it, lean it forward about like that. And maybe even the, the stern to slope backward, which is not uncommon. All right. Uh, and then the other point is to uh, uh, put some rocker in the boat. And boats generally have a, 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 a round up toward the bow, lay down in the middle and is, the, is the lowest part. And so I can lay a, a curve here. This is so we look at the profile of the boat that rises up in the stern about that far, rises up in the bow about this far. It touches uh, the, the bottom of the boat uh, right in the middle, okay? So this line is now, that reference line is now, it's still there, but we're, we're lifting up above it, okay? The next thing is to give yourself a reference for the width of the boat and the height of the center of the boat. So I'm just gonna draw that in as a, as a kind of a rectangle here. Uh, um, and it seems obliquely. Uh, and we're going to have s uh, hard chines here, hard squares on the side. But actually, the boat's going to lean out. It's going to be wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So the sides of the boat are going to slope in. So what I've done really here is to create the frame around which the, the sides of the boat are going to bend. Now, I'll do the same thing with the stern. And because this is the axis... I'm going to make another axis this way, uh, and I can actually put some other lines across here too, just to kind of give reference of where that that axis, the right left axis is, and the and the the, the left right axis this way. So here I'm going to put uh, the the beginning of the stern, and I'll do another one of these kind of things, except I'm sloping it this time. I'm I'm letting that sort of lie back, uh, lean back toward the back of the boat. It doesn't come, it's not straight up and down the way this one is. And I do the same thing. I'm going to extend, I'm going to extend this a little bit here and a little bit here so that it's going to have a shape, uh, a, a trapezoidal shape the way the center does. Okay. Now, once I've established that, I have this point, this point, and this point, which are going to be connected to each other. This point, this point, and that point connected. So let's do this one first. So when I move forward, this would be like the rail of the boat. It's going to go up forward from here through there to there. When I'm passing through this point, because it's on that axis of the boat, I need to land my line on that line. Same over here. I need to land on that line going fore and aft. So I start out here. Now this is almost going to be a straight line. Pass right through there. Bend over just ever so slightly to the bow. Now that looks almost like a straight line, but we'll see what happens when, when we draw the rest of it. On this side, which is dipped toward you, there's more of a curve. This has to go out here. The line has to swing out like this and get in line with that direction and then find its way back to the bow. So that's quite a, a much more dramatic curve. Now it's easy, it's hard to draw a curve this way, but if you flip it over and pass through those same points, you can use the geometry of your, of your wrist, the pivot of your wrist like a compass. So that swings down through there like that and up through there like that. I'm gonna make it darker here so we can see that. Okay. So now what we've drawn here between these lines, this line across the back, uh, I could connect this and that in the center and up to the center here. And you can kind of see we've made a kind of spoon-shaped, curved, pointed surface. Okay. Now, the lower part of it, on the bottom here, from this corner, is going to connect to that. 
corner of the frame up to the bow, up to the higher bow up here. So let's do the same thing here that goes down like this. When it passes through here, it needs to be going on that axis, so I need to get that line out there so it can come in at that angle and then head up to that point. Now what you've drawn here is a, is a pretty complex shape. Over here, the same thing. Here's that corner equivalent to this one. It's gonna come from here to here and go up there. So I'm gonna lightly go through here it's going to pass through there. Again, it's going to be a pretty straight line. And then it diverges, as the front gets a little wider, uh, to that point. It's going up here. So here, here we see the inside of that. Now you can begin to see that this isn't really a straight line. That's actually getting wider as it goes toward the bow. Okay? So that's the basic, that's the basic shape of the boat. Uh, that piece that hung down here onto the flat part that could be a skeg or a little piece of the keel that sticks out here that runs along the underneath the bottom. Okay, if I wanted to give this a, a little curve, uh, a curved top in this transom, I could go up here, swing around, pass through that line, and land over here. And you see, create a fairly complicated, complex shape for the stern. All right. Now, once you have this done, you can start adding details. Let's just get rid of these guidelines here and you can kind of see the shape of the boat a little more clearly. Uh, begins to become look, look more solid. Uh, and then I can, from here, from here on out, I can start adding details. If I wanted to put a seat riser in, like a seat right in the middle, I go halfway up all the way along this line and go all the way up to the bow with that line. And from uh, in parallel to that, I can add a couple of seats. So I'm gonna go here and then across, this is our axis across the boat. We'll do it here again, put another seat in. I'm making these lines pretty much parallel to one another, okay? I can put another one back here. And a big back, back seat. I can, you know, carve this out if I wanted to, to, you know, to have a little circle in here. Uh, you know, when, once you have the guidelines laid down, you, there are all kinds of things you can do with that. I'm going to put a seat riser, which is a, a bar that runs the full length of the boat that the seats actually sit on. I'll put another seat up here. Okay. Now, again, it's helpful when you're sketching to clean out the places where you have, where you have guidelines. And it helps you to see the solid, the solid shape a little better. Uh, okay, now you can start making these, you know, doing details, make the, put in the thickness of the benches, the thickness of the seats. Uh, you can, you can uh, actually uh, uh, put some uh, quarter frames in here uh, that, that might uh, reinforce the sides of the boat. Uh, these. These can be done in, you know, crudely or in detail, depends on how much you want to finish the sketch. Um, some supports across the bottom of the boat, maybe even in some boats that are actually planked, uh, so you have actually cross planking in the boat, which you could run in like this. Uh, these lines across the top can be thickened. Uh, you can, you, once you have the original guideline, you can kind of lay a line in like that, see to add a uh, a thicker, uh, <clears throat> a thicker gunnel. Uh, here, the same thing. I take that original line like this and just double it. And work your way through a little place for a sculling oar here in the stern. Uh, and then uh, finish it off anyway. Uh, any way you like. Uh, add shadows. Maybe the shadow come from almost directly above, so these will cast shadows right straight down. That's another whole. That's another whole video. How you would handle the shadows of this, but.
have it. A skiff.